We find Tara a little bit older after she's not at the academy anymore and she's been injured. Have you given any thought to re-auditioning? I can never dance again. Tara, I watched you learn to walk again. She feels like she's lost everything and she's trying to find her dream. She's searching, basically. No one takes 18 months off and expects to get into the National Ballet Company. It's not impossible. I mean, there was always the possibility of a movie they'd been saying at the end of season three that, oh yeah, we're gonna make a movie. We're like, yeah, cool, all right. Mm. I guess the biggest difference that I noticed um, was the amount of time that we had to shoot scenes. Um, more so in Australia, obviously in New York, it was all really fast paced, but you know, some of the dance scenes that um, we'd shoot during the series, if we had you know, a one minute dance scene, they could be shot in an hour or two hours. Whereas with the movie, they'd do a whole day of it. I think that's what's so important, like the reachability of Dance Academy and the yeah. how many people can aspire to the show and connect with it. it yeah. Exactly, and that's what, like so many people go through so many things. Especially dealing with tougher subjects, you know, death and eating disorders and all those kind of things. Um, I think it pushes the boundaries, but it's, it's why it's done so well, because people always say, I went through the same thing. It's what makes me me. Giving up is game over. At the heart of Dance Academy, ultimately, is the friendship between all of these dancers. Connecting those characters that Sam Strauss has written so beautifully is what stays with our audience now, even five years after the series. I have no idea what happens next, but I'm excited about finding my own way.